Here a hydrocarbon sample combusted into oxygen. So we have the hydrocarbon combined with what? Um, with O2. Produces CO2, H2O. Okay. And this is for products, right? What they're showing us, that's the product? Well, what they're doing is they, um, they say that after they did the combustion, the resultant mixture of gases was analyzed in gas spectrometry, which means they just took everything in the container and analyzed that by gas spectrometry. They can't tell which things are the products and which things are the starting materials, so they just analyzed everything. Okay. That might be the key right there. Okay. You know, when you do a reaction, you don't get little labels on the things that are the products and the things that are the unreacted starting materials. So if you're going to do mass spectrometry, you're going to be labeling all of those. So in this case, um, we know that, um, so after the reaction was done, was there any water? Yes. Because yes. they got a signal at 18. Yes. And after the reaction was done, was there any carbon dioxide? Yes. Because they got a signal at 44. And after the reaction was done, was there any oxygen? No. Well, I have a question about that because, okay, 30 can't, okay, what if oxygen was in excess and what if that 32 represented O2? Yeah, so it does. Oh. Because there's a signal at 32, which is the weight of oxygen, we know there's still oxygen left over. Okay. So that's why the correct answer is B. Um, no, it's C. C. I thought I checked this. I did this problem and I thought I got it right. Um, yeah, no, but here's, look, here's the answer. Oh, um, yeah, I'm right here. Molar mass of the hydrocarbon is 32. I mean, I feel like that's just an error. Oh, oh okay. I see. Um, I got your line of reasoning. So do I. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. And here's why. Yeah. Let's say you have one carbon. The most hydrogens I could have is four, which would be a mass of 16. Let's say you have two carbons. That zero. would have a mass of 24. And here's the most hydrogens you could have, which is six. So that would give you a mass of 30. 30 yeah. And then you could have three carbons, which is too much, because that's 36. So there is no hydrocarbon that has a mass of 32. So that looks like a mistake in the answer key. There is no hydrocarbon okay. that has a mass of 32, because we just went through all the different possibilities. So that must represent oxygen. It can't but represent. But it's not what it's saying. It's saying um, which of the following statements about the data is false. Oh, 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 yeah, we're done. We just didn't read the question carefully enough. That's right. Uh, we're supposed to pick the false thing. That's right. Absolutely. That's why I thought I got this right. I read it right the first time. Okay. So, yeah. So, it would be tempting to say, aha, the hydrocarbon must be 32. Uh, but that doesn't make sense because there is no such thing as a hydrocarbon with 32. That must represent um, choice B. So, choice B is true, which means that it's the incorrect choice. And choice C is false, which means it's the correct choice. Okay. okay. It's a good thing, you, good thing you noticed that everybody could have... Uh, well, so I was, I, I have an apology to the person that wrote the answer key. They were right and I was wrong. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.